Hi, my name is Julianne, and in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can actually print multiple images to a single JPEG file so that you could post that to your social media channels. So I'm in the print module, and the first thing I want to do is I want to change under the print job panel the print option. Instead of printing to a printer, I'm going to select a JPEG file, and then I need to change the custom file dimensions. So in this case, I'm going to create a document that's 12 inches by 6 inches at 100 pixels per inch because that's very easy for me to calculate, right? That means I'm going to have 1,200 pixels by 600 pixels. Now, I don't want to print all of these images here, so we need to go to the layout area, and I'm going to remove all of the rows so that I just have one row, and then I have three columns. And I'm also going to remove any of the margins because I can now set them to zero because I'm printing to a JPEG, not a printer. And as far as the cell spacing, I don't actually want any spacing between the cells. And I'm going to increase the height and the width to the maximum amount here. So now I've got this great template where I've got three different columns for three different images, and all I need to do is move up to the image settings and tell Photoshop to zoom to fill. Then I can rearrange where each image falls within this print layout. So we'll go ahead and just move these over like this. And then I need to go down to the page area here because you can see that I've got some page options set. I've got page numbers as well as page info. I want to turn that off. And I'm also going to turn off the photo info. And that's all there is to it. I'm now ready to print this to a file. So I'll click Print to File. I'll save this as 3up. And I'll save it to my desktop and click Save. If I thought that I was going to use this template again, I'd be sure to go to my template browser and then click on the plus icon in order to save it. You'll notice here that I have a whole folder of different templates that I use when I'm blogging. I've got one that shows nine images, another that shows two of horizontal nature, I've got the two up square images, the three up, five up, so you can see I use this feature all the time. And one thing to make a note of, you'll notice that it's still preparing the print job. So one of the things you want to be careful of is you want to make sure that you only select those images that you actually want to print. Otherwise, Lightroom will go ahead and print all of the images that you have selected in your film strip. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.